If you are in the market of getting a drawing tablet, well, hopefully this video will help you make the right decision, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now again, also if you are new to animation or you, if you want to start out in animation and you don't know where to begin, you don't know what you're going to need, well I created a animation startup guide and this guide is basically a list of everything that you're going to need including links um, to the specific um, software websites or product websites just so that you can go check out prices and specs and just do your own research but this list will consist of sp um, different drawing tablet brands that we're going to look at today as well as 2d animation software 3d animation software and also other software you're going to need like um, storyboarding uh, script writing etc so everything that you're going to need to start off your animation journey is in that list with links to all the specific um, products so that you can know what you're going to need and also it makes it easier for you to do your research. So if you're looking for that um, guide in the description box below, there's a link. Just click there and I will send that guide to you. Now today we're going to look at drawing tablets. And um, just to give you a quick um, summary of a background of um, drawing tablets... Uh, for me, um, I started off with my animation just using my mouse and it was really time consuming and it took me quite some time to draw um, my characters and backgrounds for my animations. Then I purchased a, a cheap drawing um, pad that I can use to draw but I really struggled with that. I'll get to that later on. And then I was lucky enough to win two drawing tablets um, with an animation contest and one of them I am using um, till this day. And um, so yeah, I'm just going to share with you my experiences and if I were to go and buy a brand new drawing tablet this is the things that i would consider and hopefully this will help you as well so the first one or the first thing that i would look at is do you want a drawing pad or a display tablet okay so what are the difference well a drawing pad is just a simple pad that you draw on and then whatever you draw on the pad will then basically happen inside your drawing software. Now, I really struggled with a drawing pad. That's why I purchased, that was my first one, and I actually just gave it away because the thing is, you need to have a very good hand-eye coordination because you are drawing here in front of you, but you have to look at your computer screen. Um, so it is really difficult for me um, to do it that way. There are exercises that you can do and with a lot of practice, uh, you can get used to it and there's a lot of great artists that work this way. Um, so there's nothing really against um, those drawing pads, but for me, I just want to plug in a drawing tablet and start drawing and for, to go through a whole... Um, practice sessions for months and that that just wasn't for me <laughs> so um, but they are a lot cheaper so um, depending on your budget that would probably be um, a great way to start off with then you get the display tablet so that is basically it looks like a big um, screen and you draw on top of the screen so You'll actually have your drawing software will appear on the screen and you will draw almost like you're drawing on a piece of paper. So that for me feels more natural, feels more like I am drawing. Um, you don't have to worry about practicing or to do exercises to get used to it um, or worry about your hand-eye coordination. You can just start drawing. So that is the first thing that you can look out for. Um, but 
obviously a display tablet is going to be a lot more expensive than a drawing pad. Okay, so that's the first one. The second thing, um, it is not a big issue, but um, for some people I can see that it will be an issue. And for me, I'm still struggling with it. Um, if I'm going to, it's not an issue for me. But if I'm going to purchase a new drawing tablet, this is definitely something I'm going to look into. And that is the surface you're drawing on. Okay, so a lot of your, my, for example, my drawing pad that I use, that first one, the surface you draw on feels like a piece of paper. So when you draw, it feels like you are actually drawing on paper. It feels very realistic. With the display tablet that I'm using currently, um, it doesn't have that. It feels like you are drawing on a piece of glass. Okay, so that it just feels unnatural. Um, so again, like I say, it's not something that is um, a big thing. But if you are looking for something that just feels a little bit more natural, um, yeah, that that is something that you can consider. But again. Um, it's not the end of the world if it feels like you're drawing on a piece of glass. I have to say it is something you have to get used to in the beginning. It just feels unnatural. Um, but if you do a lot of drawings after a while, uh, you're going to get used to it and it's not going to be an issue. But that is something that I definitely want to... Um, um, if I'm going to get myself a new tablet in the future, that is something I am going to look for. Something that has a more paper feel to it so that it just feels a bit more natural. Then the third thing that you can also consider, again this is not a big issue but if you're going to draw a lot, for me I found that it did become an issue but it's not an end of the world issue and that is the size of your tablet. Okay, So the drawing tablet that I currently use is a 13 inch Nothing wrong with it, um, but if you draw a lot, what I did find is I have to scroll around a lot, okay? So it just makes the whole drawing experience, it's just a hindering that you can't look at your image and draw. You'll have to keep scrolling around and zoom in, zoom out. If you want to see your entire image, you have to zoom out, and then if you want to continue drawing, you have to go zoom in again. So the drawing tablet if it's a small one it just becomes a hindrance if you keep have to scroll around on your image um, so yeah that is one thing that I don't like um, but again it's not a big issue it is it's actually such a part of my workflow <laughs> at the moment that it's not an issue it's not a turn off for me um, if I can put it like that but I think it it will be just your workflow will be a lot more easier if you have a bigger drawing tablet. And um, so, yeah, it, it's a small thing, but it's something that you can consider uh, if you don't mind zoom in, zoom out and scroll all over your image while you are drawing. <laughs> um, then the fourth point, and this is quite important, this is something to look out for, is the functionality of the drawing tablet. To give you an example, like I've mentioned earlier, I've won two drawing tablets in the past. Um, and I've the first one that I've won um, is 13 inch. And then the second one is also 13 inch. And it's the exact same model, just an upgrade, the later version. And I am still using the old model. Um, for one specific function and it has a big red knob to zoom in and zoom out. The later version doesn't have it. If you want to zoom in, there's buttons so you have to press zoom in and then press the other button to zoom out and it's just not a nice workflow. Um, so that knob for me, I use it a lot. And then other functionalities is um, buttons that you can set certain commands to. So I use two commands quite a lot, um, and that is save and undo. And then another button I've made that if you press it, it opens up my drawing software. So I don't have to go to my um, to my laptop and double click on the icon. I can just with the press of a button and the software opens, and then I have my save and my undo. Two buttons I use a lot. So the functionality, make sure when you look for a drawing tablet, know what you are looking for. Understand your workflow. 
especially if you have a small drawing tablet where you are going to um, zoom in and zoom out a lot maybe having that knob is a great function to have but if you have a larger drawing tablet maybe that is not a function that you're going to need quite often so really understand um, your workflow and see what tablet will best uh, complement your workflow so for me functionality is quite a big one but everyone's workflow is different so that's why um, I'm sure there's um, artists that will prefer the later version of my drawing tablet uh, because it will suit their workflow best so it really depends on your workflow and um, yeah but if you have a drawing tablet that can complement your workflow that is a big must I think this is probably the most important point on everything that I've mentioned is get a drawing tablet that complements your workflow Okay, and then the final one, just three recommendations. I think these are three drawing tablets um, or companies that makes drawing tablets that you can't go wrong with. Okay, so they are the industry standard and um, I'm sure there's a lot of other ones that you can also get. But these three, if you look at them, you're probably going to get a decent drawing tablet. And that is the Wacom or Wacom, I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce some of them, so Wacom is the one, uh, Yuyon is the other one, and then finally XP Pen, I've, I have um, XP Pen, and I haven't had any issues, it's just the only issue that I do have is the surface, the drawing surface is like a glass surface and not a paper texture, that's the only thing that I found that I don't like about it. But other than that, I'm quite happy with my drawing tablets. So guys, those are just a summary of things that I've experienced using drawing tablets in the past. And if I were to purchase a new one, these are the things that I would consider. If you want links to these websites, Again, in that um, animation startup guide, I have links to all three of these makes. And um, so that will also help you. So let me know in the comments below, what drawing tablets are you using? Um, do you prefer a drawing pad or a display tablet? Uh, let us know in the comments. And what recommendations do you have? Are there any drawing tablets that you recommend? Uh, maybe out of these three, which one do you prefer? I know Wacom is probably the leading one from the three, the best one of the three. Um, so understandably, everyone would say Wacom. But um, yeah. I would love to hear from you. So guys, that is it for me. Remember to hit that subscribe and also click on that thumbs up. I would really uh, appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week with another video. So God bless and happy animating.